Kenny's here. And if this set looks oddly familiar, it's because it is the set of Ruth Ann's gratitude videos. So, I have a little story for you guys. Hmm. I don't know how to categorize it. It could be horror. <laughs> or drama. on Monday to celebrate Jamaica's independence 56 years of independence me with my enough self decide to more come down to the grand gala I never watch it on TV me didn't want to be among the privileged to come down and kill anyway nobody cares about what you think about right now we're all just doing the way They said it will be fun. They said, and it indeed was fun. I had a lot of fun. I enjoyed wonderful music. Everything was good up until the end of the show at about 11 p.m. We were walking around like lost puppies in the parking lot. Could not find our vehicle. Dude, where's my car? Where's your car, dude? Dude, where's my car? You know, you, you think probably we misplaced the car. Maybe somebody moved the car. <laughs> they did move the car to an unknown location. <laughs> Never find it back. So I went over to the police and I was like, can you help us? Like we have, our vehicle has been stolen. And he was just there in his car, minding his own business. And he was like, well, you need to go over to the police station. And I'm like, what kind of purpose has served? Anywho, we went to the police station. I'm telling us something the police laughed after we. The police looked at us and laughed. There were at least two other families who were in the same situation. And the man never business. He took one sheet of white paper. He wrote down our information. And I was so pissed. I was like, what are you going to do with this information? Is it going to go into a database? What is going to happen with it? Nothing. They sent the information out. All I know is that my heart did just sink and my nose of the car gone. Nothing to be done about it. I was like, can you, how do we get home at this point? It's like 12 o'clock now, 1 o'clock. How do we get home? All the way to Mandeville. Thankfully, I have Kelly Shadow with them because they, they, were, they were on the case and we ended up coming here. Three of us. It was myself, Spugs, <laughs> and my mother. And all three of us were curled up in the bed. All because of our dirty teeth. Anywho, I have to say big up to the, the police. And on, on, on another note, because the local policeman, they carry on our crossroads to buy some fruits. That's a nice little gesture, no? Mm -hmm. We had a good conversation on the way back because the journalist in me had a lot of questions for him about the efficiency and the effectiveness of the police here in Jamaica. And he really, really, really gave me the, the full down. And boy, I'm feeling it for them. But all in all, we are now work for people powerless ain't nothing we can do about it and somebody else is enjoying look at 1994 toyota corolla carrier we didn't have god knows how long wherever you are lost in mobile rest in peace the police need to carry home the police need to carry home at home finally let me beg them and then carry come up <laughs> they carry come home not to mandible they carry this right here to kingston that was after the fruit incident. So, big up on that note. We haven't heard anything else from the police. So I'm just going to assume that the car is long gone, scrapped, or being used as a taxi. Who knows, might end up jumping out one day and not even realize. <laughs> anyway, bye guys! That was a weird ending. Wusan, get on the battery.